Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mindy with Mindy's Crafts and Cash. Tonight I'm going to be working on a master board and I'm going to cut it up and make bookmarks for it because next month I am going to a crop. For those of you who don't know, it's a um, scrapbooking or crafting event and people uh, used to just really bring scrapbooking, but now they really bring all kinds of crafts. And I want to pass them out with my channel name on them. Um, hopefully people will then subscribe. So not only are we doing that, but I will be doing the drawing for the sticker book and also for the international drawing, which will uh, consist of an envelope with some of my original art and also um, some ephemera that I'll put in. So let's get started. For the master board, I'm gonna be doing on a 12 by 12 paper that I can't see myself using this side at all. So this will be the side I'll glue on, and then this will be the side that I will uh, write on with my um, Mindy's Crafts and Cash on it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm basically going to be using some squares and rectangles. Uh, once you make a master board, you can cut it for anything. You can use it for a, uh, artist trading cards or cut inches or twinchies, one inch or two inch little pieces of art or uh, bookmarks or pockets or anything you want. So I'm gonna do it a little vintagey. I'm gonna use uh, pages from the almanac. Uh, let's just cut some out. And even though it's not that vintage, it's 1997, so it's 27 years old, it's nicely aged. Kazakh, Kazakhstan. Okay, so we'll cut some of those. And I also, have an old dictionary that was ready to get thrown out and I said no 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 so let's just cut out a couple of pages from here and basically we'll just make some squares and rectangles and glue 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 and see how it comes out and then we turn it and cut it so off I go so I'm just gonna cut up, see I had used part of these pages. I'm going to just cut some shapes from here. Let's make sure we're in frame. And the way I'm doing the drawing is I went back to that video and everybody who uh, was in the USA, I wrote their name and I put it in this box and folded it up. So these are all the papers from there. And then uh, when that's done, I only had a few international people um, and I wrote their names too. So we shall, let's get rid of a little bit of the edge. Uh, we shall see who the winner is. I do have um, an email now for this group. It's just called craftsandcash at gmail.com. And if you are the winner uh, of either one, I'll give you a couple of days to send me your uh, address. And um, then I will uh, work out your prize. So this one will just kind of go like this. And we'll do some stripes from this one. And we'll get going. Okay, and then I pulled out some of these. And this will be very kind of antique -y. And then we could stamp on it or anything we want. That's enough to get started with. So, how was your day? 
today I worked in the volunteer office. Found like I had felt like I never left because I covered for somebody on Friday. And then I was back again today, which is Monday. So I uh we had a little bit of business. We had people returning things. This is a big um, area where people just come down for a few months. Snowbirds, we call them. And if they just come down for a couple of weeks at a time, we call them snowflakes. So anyway, uh, uh, people borrow the equipment for while they're down here, and then they return it before they leave, and they don't have to bring it with them. Look at all these cute cards. I like this one. Leave it that way. That's kind of interesting with all the little cards on the side there. Okay, that's enough to start, and then we'll cut more as we need it. So let's move this out of the way and this. And get started doing some gluing. That's my international people. Okay. Okay, so I pulled up some glue sticks. I have an Elmer's, the end of a scotch, and no good. I'm pretty out of scotch. <laughs> Not the liquor. The uh, glue stick. We'll start right here. And just make it really random and then we'll see how it comes out. So have you ever made a master board? It's really kind of fun. I've made many, many. I've enjoyed them. One thing I'm not, oh, I like this side. What I'm not really doing is doing things of the same thickness because this paper is a little, a little bit thicker than this paper, but not that much. And they can overlap a little bit. You don't have to have them exactly touching. So <clears throat> when I go to that, crop I'm planning on doing scrapbooking because I have a couple of cruises I've never scrapbooked and um, a visit up north and I really want to get all of those into a scrapbook so I sat this morning <laughs> I can't believe I did this and I went through all my photos and I sent them to Walgreens to print for me because even though I do have a printer I don't really print photos at home and the, uh, I had 143 pictures to print, believe it or not. And I got it all done. And there's a Walgreens right near where I live. So as soon as I finished at the We Care Center, I went over to Walgreens and they couldn't find my pictures. It was like, oh, I got an email saying they were ready. And we pull up the email, and it was a different Walgreens. So I had to get back in the car and then drive to that other Walgreens. I'm not exactly sure how that happens, but at least it wasn't too far. And I got all well, 143. And now before I go, I want to refer back to my phone and sort them by trip. The uh, cruise ones, you know, half the time you can't even tell what cruise it was or what ship you were on or whatever. So I want to, you know, like maybe put them in little Ziploc bags and put a, a note in so I'll know exactly what I'm doing. Not that it matters that much. You know, a picture from the balcony on any cruise can be any other cruise. Let's see, let's get a skinny one to stick here. And that was my day. 
and I was very tired because last night, starting at midnight, we could sign in for my next cruise sometime in May, and I stayed up for that. You could start at midnight, and I like to get on the ship early because it's still a ways away from my house, about an hour away, and I just want to make sure there's no flat tires or no problems, and you get where you're going when you, with plenty of time to spare. So even though it kind of makes more sense to get there right at one o'clock when you can go right to your cabin, which would be nice, I uh, want to get there with plenty of time to spare just in case there's an accident on the road or, uh, you know, any kind of problem. So that's what we do. Okay, let's find some more stuff. Haven't used this yet. Um, can use this in all different directions. I'm still trying to figure out a way to do diamond painting because diamond painting is one of my big interests. But I diamond paint on the couch, on the recliner actually, the recliner part of the couch. And I really don't know how to film from there. Um, so we will see. I do have a smaller one that I like take on trips and stuff. And I can um, perhaps do that right here on the desk. So we shall see. And I will have to do some screenshots of my whole living room is full of the diamond paintings that I've made. I first learned about diamond painting when I was at a scrapbook expo and we were at a big make and take. So a lot of the companies that have booths set up uh, create a little project for you and you pay like $50 or $60 for the evening and you do like 10 different make and takes. It's a lot of fun. That's how you learn about new products and things because that's how they introduce their products. So somebody had a, a diamond painting that they had made up that said Expo, which it was a scrapbook Expo. And all I did was a teeny little bit. And I said to my buddies at the table, girls, this is fun. And we all ran over because after they do the demo, of course, they have a little booth set up there for like a half hour and you can buy some of the products on sale. And we all ran and bought diamond paintings. So I am sure that a lot of the people at the crop next month will uh, have their diamond paintings with them, even if they don't do them the whole time. You know, it's nice for a little break. So I will probably bring one with me. I have a little one I take. The only thing is it has a lot of white background and it's pretty boring. The big one I'm working on, uh, the uh, groovy girl it's called, and she's a hippie. And there's a Volkswagen bus. It's really very cute. I really am enjoying it. But it is huge and it's taken me a long time to finish it. I started it in November and it'll be probably another two months. But that's okay. Sometimes I don't work on it at all. Sometimes I work on it for a couple of hours and that's about all my eyes can handle. Some people work on it for 
six or eight hours at a time, but that will never be me. These old eyes can't handle it. But it's a whole setup because I use a light box and I have a, a desk that slants and that goes on my lap and it's a it's a whole whole big business. Making progress here. Okay. more. Cut another row of these. And another row. And trim them here. Trim them here. And we'll do a little one if we have to stick it anywhere little ones and see how that helps. Oops, something just fell on the floor. Okay. Woo. I think this was a new glue stick. I'm not sure. Coming up to the top there. So how was your weekend? What did you do? I had a very nice dinner at my cousin's last night. They live in the next town. I don't see them nearly enough. Considering we're all retired, we have busy lives. They're all musicians and they play in several orchestras. So they keep very busy with that. They're excellent cooks. So <laughs> when they come, when, when I go to them, they cook. And when they come to me, I go to Costco. <laughs> and I buy a whole thing of tuna made up already. And I buy a thing of, uh, I make some egg salad. And I buy bagels. And I make a nice dairy meal for them and they say to me can't you read a recipe I can read a recipe I'm not as stupid though however I have a lot of trouble making all hot things ready at the same time and it makes me nervous and I'm at the stage in my life when I don't want to be nervous so that is what I do Oh, that's not quite big enough. Okay, a little more cutting. Nearly done here, and then we'll do the drawing. Nearly done. I have a lot of... Uh, antique looking um, washi tape, which I can add in if I need to cover some little holes. Okay, let's see what we could do with this stuff. And okay, okay, okay. So one person wrote that they 
live in South Africa and it doesn't pay to enter them in the contest because they will never get the mail. Their mail is not trustworthy. I felt so badly about that. I mean, our mail lately has been taking a really long time, but at least I usually get everything. Unless they deliver it to the wrong village here, like they did recently. But a very nice person came and delivered it to me. So that was nice of him. Okay, let's get something up here. Let's see, I put some, cut some singles. Let's see if that's good for there. Little fill in. And then it's fun to kind of turn it upside down, you know, the other way and then cut it into strips and then turn around and see what you ended up with. Wait, this took nearly a whole glue stick. I am ordering right now as soon as we get off. Okay, let's see. From this perfect height. And we'll just fill in all those little spots and this will be done. So before I started this, I sat down and I watched the latest episode of Call the Midwife. It's on public broadcasting system, and I record it on my DVR, and I have been watching that series for years. It's a British series, and it is excellent. Uh, all right, we'll put this here. And then we'll trim it from the back. And then we'll put that there. Do you watch it? It's got a lot of seasons. And it takes place in Britain. It starts in the 50s in London, down by the docks. And it's stories about people who live there. And also about the nuns and the nurses. So you get involved in their work, their lives also. Today's episode, one of the women got married and she was having trouble getting on, getting on time to the Nanata's house, it's called, because she had to take public transportation and her husband worked. So they were trying to teach her to drive. That brought back some memories. The first time I ever went out with my dad to learn how to drive was on Halloween. And I was up north and in New York, it gets dark that time of year at around, at around 4.30. And we were out driving and there were kids running everywhere told my father, this is not a good day for me to be out. Let's go home. And that was the end of that day. Nope, I need a crosswise thing. One little piece and we are done. Okay, so this is a basic masterboard. You can stamp on it. You can do anything else you want. You can cut it. Oh, it came out good. And just have a little piece here. Okay, so let's just trim it out, cut it on around the back, see what's going on. And Move along. I'm going to cut a teeny bit here just 
to smooth everything out. Works so well. Let's just use Papa Bear Scissor, the big one. Oh, yeah, it did. Hello, come off. Let's see what happened with you. Boy, am I awkward. Look at this. Okay, and then let's just. a little here all of that'll come off okay and it had a little glue on it so it's stuck okay so now everything's nice and one thing you can do is you can stick this on a copier my copy or only takes eight and a half by eleven uh, or you can scan it in and then you have another one all made but I am going to cut it now, let me think a minute, because the writing all goes this way, and I, wa I want it to go this way for my uh, bookmarks that I'm going to make, and I want them to be about two and a half, so let's see what we got here. Two and a half, two and a half. and a half let's see how much we have left we have four so I can do two and two and then I'm gonna do them in six so we'll see what we came up with Ah, I lost whatever it was here. We'll add washi there. Okay. And I can decorate these up any way I want. I will uh, put a tie on them. And now I have a few more. Okay, so let's see what we ended up with. It's garbage. Okay. One, two, I'll have to fix that. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I have ten more. The other side, I'll write Mindy's Crafts and Cash. Please subscribe. And I will punch a hole. I will stick a ribbon through and say, I'd like to give you a bookmark, blah, blah, blah. But we'll see. I want to decorate a little bit in here. Maybe stick a little bit of washi tape in there. So we'll see. Maybe maybe put some stamps, maybe some of my ephemera. That would be cute. Yeah, decorate a little bit. Okay, let's let's do that. And that is the story. There we go. Cover that area up. And again, I made something out of nothing. The fun part of crafting. Let's put a little tab over there.
one. We could put a little one up here. Oh, I'm getting so icky gooey. Okay, and so forth. I'll finish doing those on my own. See how much fun this is? Fun, fun, fun. And easy peasy, and it didn't cost much. Some of the paper I had bought in a pack, and the other, uh, the other was old book paper from the almanac and the dictionary. Next, let's do the drawing. Okay, all the papers are double folded. The drawing ended last night at 9 p.m. I went on to see exactly where the comments ended, and that was that. Uh, thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you for all of the people who have been so faithful to me and watch all my videos and make the comments. And I know a lot of you watch them and don't make the comments. Because if I have 10 comments and 100 views, I know a lot of you aren't commenting, but that's fine. Okay, I'm going to pick one out. Not look. Robin Webb 2160. Congratulations, you are the winner. I will uh, let you send me an email with your address on it. Uh, craftsandcash at gmail.com. And... I'll get your address and we will get a book sent out to you. Okay, so that is that. Everybody's name is in here. Okay, and now these are my international people. You have a better chance. There were only about five of you. Okay, I'm just going to pick a name. And this is Nicola James. Uh, please send me your uh, name, your address, and uh, to craftsandcash at gmail.com, and I will send you an envelope with maybe a bookmark and maybe an ATC card, some goodies. So thank you very much for all of you who participated. You have a wonderful day. And keep crafting. Bye-bye.